Thinking about making a move to Jacksonville and you've considered St. John's County? How about living on the St. John's River? Well, today I'm gonna to go over one of the most popular master plan communities right next to the St. John's River, and that is called Rivertown. Today is January 30th, 2023. It's around 1130, it's 77 degrees. So if you're looking to get out of the cold, you're looking to make that final move to Florida, this is a place you need to consider. And if you stick around to the end, I'll let you know about some builder incentives that might pique your interest. Let's get after it now. So if this is your first time on the channel and you want to know everything about Jacksonville and the surrounding areas like St. John's, uh, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to tap the alerts bell so that you can be the first to know about what's going on in the area. I get calls from people like you every day, nine days, 90 days, 180 days, whenever they're planning to move, uh, they reach out. My information will be in the text, email, or give me a call, it'll be in the description below, and that way I can help you make a smooth transition to the area. Hi, my name is Greg, and uh, today I'm in Rivertown. Rivertown is one of my top favorite communities in uh, St. John's County. Um, if you've watched my video, Pros and Cons of St. John's County, I think I ranked it number three. But really it's for the people that I find really love nature, hiking, and want to be um, close to the St. John's River because Rivertown does offer uh, amazing amenities on the river. They have a boardwalk on the St. John's River. Um, they have a kayak paddleboard launch on the St. John's River. So if that's your thing, then definitely Rivertown is a place for you. So Rivertown is located on the St. John's River in St. John's County, in the municipality of St. John's. It's just uh, south of um, Julington Creek area uh, and just north of the St. John's border, uh, St. Augustine border. Um, we're about 35 minutes to the beach. Uh, we're a good solid 20, 25 minutes to the hospital. Um, and then I would say at least 45 minutes to the Jacksonville International Airport. Uh, the wonderful thing about um, Rivertown is again, they offer all the amenities uh, that you would expect in a master plan community. It is golf cart friendly. Again, they have the amphitheater for events for families. They have the kayak rentals. Um, right now, we're gonna go ahead and give you a tour of the River House, one of the two major amenity buildings here. Again, resort style living, something that really is jaw dropping because unlike most places, it is with the backdrop of the St. John's River behind. So at the River Club here in Rivertown, it is truly amazingly peaceful being on the St. John's River and behind me, uh, 
the amenities are incredible. I mean, you have fire pits, you have the infinity zero entry pool, you have a little cafe behind me on the your left, which would be serving drinks at specific times, including a happy hour. You have a game room on my other side. And this is just partially of what you get here in, in Rivertown. And quite frankly, Rivertown is only gonna have about 5,000 homes. So right now they're only around 55% built and sold, but although they're only over halfway done, um, I will say that this community has been established in the last 10 years. So as far as stability uh, standpoint, uh, Rivertown's definitely got that um, without any sacrifice in tons of communities. You're looking at about just under 10 communities to choose from, including an amazing 55 and older community, Water Song, which we'll get into just as well. If you lead an active lifestyle, Rivertown's for you because they have 5,000 acres of, about 5,000 acres of preserve. And that includes trails, uh, biking paths, and what's even more dramatic about that is that it's, some of it is along the St. Johns River. As you can see behind me, they have these gorgeous indigenous trees to Northeast Florida, these oaks with Spanish moss flowing. It's so dramatic, it's incredible. You have to see it for yourself. Now if the River Club amenity on the St. Johns River is not enough, here we are in the River House. This includes more amenities such as tennis courts, lap pools, another leisure pool with a uh, slide for the kiddos, a gym, a yoga studio, a clubhouse for all your parties and events. This is all paid for by your CDD fee. Uh, that will be escrowed with your property taxes annual. CDD fees can run between $2,000 and a little bit over $3,000 depending on the frontage square footage of your home. Um, also here in, in Rivertown, again, you are in St. John's and St. John's County. Right now, they are zoned for two different K-8 through schools. So again, you really want to make sure you contact a real estate professional so that you understand how your which school your children is going to be attending and know also that in the fall of 2024 Rivertown will have their own K through 8 school as well. Right now the children do come to this area for a bus stop area to get to to that to those schools. Water Song Club here in the 55 adult community in Rivertown. 
And now, most of the time in Northeast Florida, I get calls from people inquiring about Dell Webb, which is by Pulte Homes, but this is a really a premiere of uh, adult community for Mattamy Homes. So again, this gives you other options. And, and as you saw from some of the footage of the model homes of the uh, 55 and older community, which is known as Watersong, uh, they have some really quality builds. And right now, as I said earlier, they have some very serious incentives to motivate people to come out here to the St. Johns River and check it out. Um, I might add also that they have some amazing finance terms right now as low as 4.99% interest rate. And I'll get a little bit more into that at the end of the video. But for now, I'd like you to see uh, all the amenities Water Song has to offer, as well as the pickleball courts, the, uh, the clubhouse, uh, the lap pool, all the other things that you would see at a Del Webb uh, Pulte community. Uh, you'll see here and just as nice if not nicer. In Rivertown you have 40 foot lots all the way up to 80 foot lots. There's something for everyone and so including Water Songs 55 and adult community. So you can have whatever it is you're looking for and Mattamy does a fantastic job with their builds and customer service. Uh, if you would compare to other master plan communities like Nocatee, the price per square foot as far as taping this right now, you're going to pay around the 290, 300 plus a square foot. Here in Rivertown, west by the river, you're going to be paying more around the 250 and 250 and up. So you can get a lot more house for your money as you go further out west here in St. John's. And right now, Mattamy has some fantastic incentives. One of the big ones I took notice of is that you can lock into a 30-year uh, lo loan for 4.99%. That's right, they're buying down the rate on a 30-year loan for qualified customers. On top of that, they're offering additional incentives depending on what property you buy. Okay, since the lag in sales in October, November, December of last year, we're starting to see sales pick up. But before the spring, they're motivated to sell and make deals on a lot of their quick move in homes. So just for instance, this is a quick move in home. Basically, it will be ready in, in June. It's a, on an 80 foot lot, it's 3,500 square feet and they have incentives. Again, there'll be homes ready in 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. So if you do not want to go through the build process, these homes already have been specced out. All their finishes are picked out, the lots picked out, and because the builders want it off their uh, finances, they're giving incentives. And I, as an independent broker, can also offer you additional incentives. And just remember, I don't work for the builders. The builder's sales rep, they work for the builders. So you should have a real estate professional that advocates for you and that also has relationships with the particular salespeople with the builder. Not all sales professionals are created equal, so it's good to have somebody that has the right contacts, that has your best interests. Also, it also pays for someone that can make it worthwhile to save you a few dollars. So I hope you enjoyed this overview of Rivertown. I can assure you there's great value here. And if you're ever in the area, please look down in the description below, reach out to me so I can answer any questions. And I look forward to meeting you out here and showing you some homes. Don't forget to check out my next video on St. John's County pros and cons in the overview part one and two. Let's get after it and check it out now.